let that boy breathe. Make it pop. We can give some content here. I mean, to kind of go on a lot with, with the whole podcast kind of atmosphere, what's your opinion on, on like influencers as a whole? Like, like how do you see their purpose? Like as influencers, like obviously there's, there's good influencers, bad influencers, right? There's influencers that take advantage of people that, and then there's influencers like, like the people we follow and like the people we get mentorship from that literally spill it all out for the people and they truly care. So I guess to kind of give some content, Marcel, what's your kind of point of view on that? And then maybe we can conversate about it if we have opposing, opposing views on this. <laughs> wow, bro. Hey, that question was a one, like literally go get that, go get the a one steak sauce bottle and put it on the steak. Cause he, <laughs> he just did it. Um, influencers, what I think influencers uh, will, will benefit the podcast and the people and stuff is because Somebody listening to this is probably already looking up to an influencer. I consider myself as someone as an influencer, right? And everybody's on their cell phones. So social media is a new wave, right? And the, most of the top influencers are doing YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and all these other social media platforms. So influencers are going to be like that new actor or that new star. You see it all the time. You see YouTubers all the time that are literally, it's like one guy, he literally walks around and probably blogs himself and has a tons of followers and influencers. Like you said, Jerry was saying it could be bad or good, but we're going to target good influencers. We're not going to put nobody on this podcast that we feel like it's not going to provide value or it's not going to actually motivate our listeners. So yeah, he's right about that. You got so any I like, think- you got any like people you look up to like list, list them off. And I guess, I guess maybe I can, I can kind of add to it. Like you got any people like you look at every single day, you listen to every single day. What do you got? Uh, yeah, there, there are some influences that I listen to every single day. There's a guy named Daniel G. They look at him. A lot of people look at him more as like a, a salesman, but I look up to him more like an influencer because he walks the walk. He talks to talk because he also, he travels and stuff. So like influencers, can be a motivation for you like he's a motivation for me i see him driving in bentley's and nice cars but he's not only just riding in nice cars and having nice things he's actually dropping gems he's actually dropping sauce he's actually giving you value on his post and telling you like how he got to where he was going to go so that's one of that's one of the influences that i really like and ed mylet he has his own podcast a lot of these guys if you if you searched them they're up in the millions of followers and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So I look at them as for motivation to get to where I want to go. So that's what an influencer can be. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, that's like, the like, I too. Sorry for interrupting you. Those like, are you good, bro? Like overarching big ones that I think of right away are like Gary V. Oh, um, okay. Well, you talk about them. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, they're influencers. Yeah. Like they're all over the yeah. place. I mean, Gary that's V's true. Gary V's just fucking up the game. Let's be honest. He's on everything. Oh, um, literally. I mean, a big one I listen to is Andy Frisella. He's a big guy, CEO of a first form um, supplemental company, like nutritional supplement company, making fucking bank, bro. His story is insane. Um, let's see who else. Maybe Tony Robbins is a good one. Um, a lot of the people, like a lot yeah. of the books that I read, um, like Simon Sinek's a good one. Um, oh, yeah, you name them now. <laughs> who's, the, who's the one? Oh, my God, I have the book right over there. And I can't think about it. Um, the one breaking the habit of being yourself or something. Oh, yes, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Yeah, Dispenza. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot his name, but he I read I read I've read two of his books. Um, he's a good one. I mean, just I guess maybe maybe more general online influencers that we like look now. Probably Gary V is the main one I go to. Gary V and Andy Frisella are the main main two I go towards because they always just got banging content. Andy Frisella is more yeah. like his podcast, Real as Fuck, is amazing. And then Gary V is a lot more materialistic, like not like wealth and everything, but like providing marketing information, business information, like shit. He goes on about trading cards all the time and it just amazes me how much he fucking knows. And then he, and then he can go from trading cards to like talking about wine. Like that, man. <laughs> I, I got no like idea. Like it ain't nothing. Like I got no idea how he does that. But I mean, both of their stories are insane. I really like like an influencer tells their story and then automatically, you know, Hey, you're really genuine. Like you really care about the people that are listening. Like, especially if they've gone through the same, same experiences you have, that just makes it so much more relatable. Like I hate the, I hate the influencers are like gurus that like just toss money out and then give you a pitch right away. They don't even care about you. You know, there's no no value right there. I feel like influencers now is a big thing. 
because like there's everyone. I mean, everyone's trying to make a check. Let's be honest. Everyone's everyone's trying to make a check, but it, I guess it, it comes down to value and and being genuine and and actually caring. You know, that's a mm-hmm. big thing. I feel like a lot of the influencers lack in the moment. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm very selective with the people I listen to and everything. So that's good. This is this is a big thing. Yeah, um, for sure. You ever heard of Ty Lopez? Of course you have. I'm in my garage. You know what's better? Than, <laughs> you know what's better than Lamborghinis? Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like eight bookshelves in his fucking garage, bro. Hey, he, I ain't gonna lie. He was one of the first people to influence me to start reading like four years ago, man. He told me what Bitcoin was. I used to listen to him a lot. I used to listen to Grant Cardone a lot. What's that um, company he's like transforming? What is it? Ty I'm Lopez looking. or Grant Cardone? Ty Lopez, the fucking the company he just literally took by the balls. I know he has a company called Mentor Box, and he has a couple other. He this dude has so many businesses, bro, that I can't even keep up. Pure One, <laughs> Pure One. That's like Pure One is like the it's like a retailer that he bought out and then completely moved it online. That's what that's what I. That's what I Definitely think. I look at that up. But oh yeah, my I, gosh! I like Lopez, though, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like him. Some people do. I think he he gives out value, man. If you if you get into his actual, either his YouTube videos give value, but if you really want to get value from him, like yeah, you you should invest in his courses. But his courses, man, they, it's not just um, it's mindset, entrepreneurship. He teaches you actual skills that you can go out and use into into the world, like e-com agency. So, man, look, I don't want to promote that Ty Lopez. Everybody <laughs> knows who he is. But anyways, that guy, I, I like his stuff, man. Um, but yeah, there's only there's only a certain amount of people that you can really truly be like, that's an influencer that's really doing it right. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's obviously the big ones because they got so big because they they provide they provide value. I know a couple small ones. Um, my guy, Sam Lister, out in Milwaukee, he's a buddy of Brady's. Um, he provides immense value. I follow him on Instagram. He, I learn something from him every single time he posts. It seems like he's, you're he's Charlie, a, Charlie Rocket. You heard him? Char- oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's I another know. one. That's a good one. <laughs> he is a good one. He <laughs> seems like he'd be so fun to hang out with, bro. That'd be so fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's coming <sighs> to Nashville too. He is. When's he coming to Nashville? Uh, nah, nah, I don't know when, but I, I just know he is because Brady actually sent me a flyer since you mentioned Brady. He's like, bro, you should go to this. You'll see like-minded people. You know, basically, if I, I go there, I can network and oh, yeah, expand 100%. business and, and meet new people and everything. So I need to actually look up on that because I want to I want to meet Charlie Rocket. That would be amazing. 